This video is sponsored by Instant Brands. Good morning, guys. It's Sung, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a few ways to make your favorite drinks at home with the new Instant Pod 2-in-1 Single Brew and Espresso Maker. I have to have a cup of coffee the moment I wake up and this machine makes it so easy to make whatever I want. So comment below and let me know how you take your coffee order and we're gonna go ahead and get started with making some drinks. So what you just saw me make is an iced Americano. So basically all I did was fill my cup up with ice and water, cold water, three quarters of the way up and then I filled my cup the rest of the way up using the espresso maker function. So it's super easy. I just put in a pod, an espresso pod, and then to take it out I just have to open up the lid and then pop it out in this little compartment right here once it's full. So it's really nifty. So the next one I'm gonna show you is using actually both the K-cup and the espresso maker. So you guys are probably already familiar with Instant Brands from their Instant Pot multi-cooker to their air fryer, and now they're expanding their line into another must-have kitchenware essential, this Instant Pot coffee and espresso maker that's two in one, which is super convenient for space saving. Like you don't need an extra coffee maker or an extra espresso maker. So now I'll show you the K-cup function. I'm gonna have a large cup here because we're gonna pour it into my ice cube maker. I'm just gonna take the K-cup, pop it in. I'll close and puncture the top. So the K-cup side comes with three different coffee brew sizes, eight ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. So you can definitely choose whichever size you'd like. But since I'm gonna be making ice cubes with this, I'm gonna choose the 12 ounce function and just gently touch it for the sensor. It's pretty intuitive. There's no confusing attachments or programs to learn. I just have to gently touch it. All right. I have my perfect cup of coffee right here. And if you guys are fans of Larry David, this cup would make him proud because it'll probably come to the right nose temperature. <laughs> He is so silly. But basically you get your coffee house brew and aroma in this cup. So now I'm just gonna pour it into this ice cube mold and I'll just pop it in the freezer until it's nice and ice cold. So this is a drink I like to make when I'm extra, extra tired because you basically get a double shot. First, I'm gonna add my coffee ice cubes into the glass. Pour in our milk three quarters of the way full. And what's really cool about this drink is as soon as the milk hits, it starts blending with the iced coffee cubes and you almost already get like this extra cold ice latte, but we're not done yet. Now, because I'm calling a double shot, I'm gonna add a shot of espresso. So in total, there are six brew cup sizes, three for the K-cup and three for the espresso. For this drink, I'm just gonna add two ounces of espresso. So just touch that. And that was super fast. You get this nice crema on top too. I'm always so impressed with how everything comes out. And then I'll just pour the whole thing into my cup, give it a stir and enjoy. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, yes, that is the perfect cup right there. So what I love about this drink, especially on hot days, is that I have the ice and I have the espresso, but whenever I use regular ice, it seems to just like dilute the coffee, but using the coffee ice cubes, it just continues dispersing that coffee flavor goodness throughout the entire drink all the way down to the last drop. Mm. You guys definitely try this one. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys is one of my favorites, a cafe au lait. Basically, it's coffee with hot steamed, kind of foamy milk. So I'll just put my K-cup in. And the cool thing about the K-cup is that you can use any generic or universal pods to make this. Just pop it in, puncture it. Let's see, I think for this one, I will do 10 ounces. I usually go according to my cup size. So this one is like a fairly small cup. If I have like one of those bigger mugs, I definitely go for a 12 ounce. All right, it's done. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I steam and froth my milk. So I have the instant frother that foams and heats up or keeps my milk cold however I want it. Before my cafe au lait, I'm gonna heat it up and froth it. So I take my milk, pour it into the chamber, 
All right, so there's four functions here. I kind of like warm no foam because sometimes I just don't want too much foam in my drink, so that's what I'm going to choose. Whoa, you can tell that it's already hot because it's nice and con like you see the condensation here. All right, this looks good and it's like steaming. That is so cozy and would be so perfect on a cold fall morning. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Instant Pod 2-in-1 espresso and coffee maker. I'd love to know how you guys take your coffee. And if you guys want to see me make any more drinks with this, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to find out more details about the Instant Pod, be sure to check out the link in the description box. And don't forget to smash the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!